Hey, welcome to Brighter Rays. This week we are looking at a study called Titus 3, 8 through 11, The Self-Condemned. So we've been working through our way through this book. And uh, I mentioned before that this short letter of Paul's to Titus is repetitive. He has several key points that he wants Titus and the church to be fully aware of and to embrace. One of those teachings is that there are counterfeits among us. We're all aware that in this world there are counterfeits and fakes. We have piracy, patent infringement, trade secret infringement. They're knockoff goods. I read that in the 2020 fiscal year, DHS sees 1.3 billion worth of fake goods attempting to be smuggled into the U.S. And that is just what they caught. Imagine how much more made it into the country and into people's homes. As bad as that is, we must be aware that there are counterfeits in our churches. Paul has already mentioned that there are false teachers and false Christians back in chapter 1. Now, having just declared the nature of salvation, he feels compelled to return to this doctrine. There are true teachers and followers of Christ, and there are counterfeits and teachers um, that are fake, and there are fake converts. A.W. Pink said, The success of a counterfeiter depends largely upon how closely the counterfeit resembles the genuine article. Heresy is not so much the total denial of the truth as a perversion of it. That is why a half-lie is always more dangerous than a complete repudiation. Hence, when the father of lies enters the pulpit with a Bible under his arm, it is not his custom to flatly deny the fundamental truths of Christianity. Rather, he tacitly acknowledges them and then proceeds to give an erroneous interpretation and a false application. There are three things I want to show you from the text. First, Paul tells Titus that he must insist on the things that Paul is telling him. He must not compromise. Second, there are traps laid in the church that people fall into, that Titus must avoid, and teach others to do the same. And third, Titus is to take action against those that are wrong. He is not to allow them to continue spreading their corruption. So that's the plan for this week. Come back next time and we will begin with a teaching that Titus and all those who are in leadership must insist on these things.